welcome to part 2 of tutorial 4. In this video, we will learn to determine the union of number sets. Let's go! To determine the union of number sets, we combine all of the elements included in the sets. The following symbol is used to indicate the union of sets. As an example, let's return to the number sets that were presented in the previous video and let's perform a union of sets A and B indicated as follows. To determine the union of these two sets, we combine all of the elements included in the sets as shown here. Note that we do not repeat elements when we perform a union of sets. In other words, even though the sets A and B have the element 6 in common, we do not list this element twice in the union set. Let's now illustrate this union of sets A and B on a Venn diagram. As you can see, the union of sets A and B is the area occupied by both of these sets. OK, let's return to our sample sets to go through another example. This time, let's perform a union of sets A and C indicated as follows. As an exercise, pause this video and try to solve this yourself and when you have done so, press play and I will go through the solution. OK, let's go through the solution. Combining all of the elements included in these sets and not repeating the element 2, which the sets have in common, we obtain the following. Let's now illustrate this union of sets A and C on our Venn diagram. As you can see, the union of sets A and C is the area occupied by both of these sets. Good. Let's return to our sample sets to go through a third example. Let's now perform a union of sets B and C indicated as follows. Again, as an exercise, pause this video and try to solve this yourself. And when you have done so, press play and I will go through the solution. OK, let's go through the solution. Combining all of the elements included in these sets and not repeating the element 3, which the sets have in common, we obtain the following. Let's now illustrate this union of sets B and C on our Venn diagram. As you can see, the union of sets B and C is the area occupied by both of these sets. Great! Let's return to our sample sets to go through yet another example. Let's go a step further now and perform a union of sets A, B and C as indicated here. Once again, as an exercise, pause this video and try to solve this yourself and when you have done so, press play and I will go through the solution. OK, let's go through the solution. Combining all of the elements included in these sets and not repeating the elements that the sets have in common, we obtain the following. Let's now illustrate this set on our Venn diagram. As you can see, the union of sets A, B and C is the area occupied by all three of these sets. Excellent. Let's return to our sample sets to go through a final example. In this final example for this part of the tutorial, let's determine the union of this half-bounded left and right open interval of real numbers with the union of sets A and C as shown here. Again, when dealing with intervals of real numbers, it is useful to illustrate them on a number line. So, let's draw a number line illustrating this interval as shown here. As you can see, this half-bounded left and right open interval does not include the number 1, as indicated by the open circle, but it does include all of the infinitely many real numbers greater than 1, as indicated by the solid line with the arrow. OK, the next step is to illustrate the union of sets A and C on this number line. We illustrate this set on our number line by simply drawing closed circles above each of the numbers. Great! Now, to perform the union of the number sets illustrated here, we combine all of the numbers included in both sets. Note that the half-bounded left and right open interval of real numbers greater than 1 
actually includes all of the numbers plotted on this line. Therefore, we conclude the union of the interval of real numbers greater than 1 with the union of sets A and C is, in fact, the interval of real numbers greater than 1. Now that we know how to determine the union of number sets, please click on the next video for part 3 of this tutorial where we will learn to determine the difference of number sets.